got myself uh, Atron. I got an E1 Atron. It's not a bad idea to get to know about this place. So yeah, um, I haven't explored that much in uh, the golden hour. Be precise. Uh, I still have so much to do. <laughs> Apparently, there's a lot of things to do as well. So yeah, uh, I'll uh, start uh, straight forward into the contents, uh, so as to not delay too much. But yeah, uh, if you like the content on the side of YouTube, uh, make sure to uh, subscribe, leave a follow, uh, comment, uh, leave a like as well. And also active the notification bell so you never miss a video from me in the future. Um, and yeah, come over to twitch.tv where I do all of my streaming of uh, uh, various games like Contra Star Rail, Genshin Impact related. And yeah, I also dabble right now on Fallout 3. For Watch your stuff any now. of you who want to see me play that, or Chronosaurus. Uh, this game. So yeah, without further ado guys, yeah, let's begin. So let's go with Firefly. Watch your step now. The first stop most people head to as soon as they arrive in the Dreamscape is the OT Mall. The Dreamscape sales stores here is super famous. All right. There are also stores that sell luxury goods, apparel, trendy toys, and even cars. As long as you have enough alfalfa coins, you can buy anything you fancy. Good. Items purchased in the Dreamscape can also be brought into reality through an extra service. Unfortunately, the transfer of automobiles to the real world is not available at the moment. You can come back for them next time. Right. Just outside the mall is the plaza. Follow me. I'll buy you a nice meal. Okay. Thanks, Firefly. You're so sweet. Also, <laughs> give me that. Give him a kid's meal. We're here. Hey, have you ever heard of this saying that goes, "In a dream." Hunger is the most precious spice. Uh, no, well, now you tell me. I seems to be right. Well, you can find all kinds of local delicacies here. Clocky pizza, oat cake rolls, alfalfa salad, and the classic Soul Glad. Feel free to pick up anything you like. Today it's my treat. Nice. Thanks, yeah, that's very nice of you. <laughs> You're welcome. Where were you, Firefly, all this time? Firefly's budget? 20,000 credits? Well, uh, thanks, that's uh, overly generous. The major private funds of Firefly, a new artist of the Iris family. Use it wisely to someone else's money, after all. Okay. Um, I cannot talk to Firefly. Okay. Anyways, hey Jay. Uh, this is Panatroni's most iconic dish. Which one? Take your pitch, it's my treat. So, 20,000. I mean. Potato fry sundae? Oh. That's the thing. Um, okay. Uh, wait. Dreamy cone. Three flavors. Upon use, increase all allies time by 60% for the next battle. There's a small chance to select the wrong target when using abilities against enemy targets. Wait, wait. Let me read that. <laughs> what does the taste of a sweet dream resemble? This question lacks a definitive answer, hence Dreamy Tones were introduced with an initial offering of over 20 distinct flavors. However, as time passed, only three prominent flavors endured. 
in truth presenting the popular scenario of Fan and Dreams. So the three most popular scenarios are memory loss, car crash, and terminal illness. Yikes. Anyways, let's get that. I have to make sure that I'm not consuming all of her money, or private funds for that matter. Uh, let's get a, a, clutchy, a clutchy pizza, I suppose. Uh, speed by 16%, but the reduced damage by 8%. Resembling a clock, this pizza is precisely divided into 12 equal sized uh, slices, making it perfect food for parties. What is the meaning behind the unique shape of this food? Some believe it pays homage to a mysterious wealthy individual, while others see it as a reminder to cherish each passing moment. Let's get that. Um, mm -mm -mm. Potato fry sundae uh, grants all allies a random eff effect from the following for the next battle. Deals 15% more ice damage and increases fire res by 15%. Bow deals 15% more fire damage and increases ice resistance by 15%. Okay. Strictly, the potato fry sundae is not merely a food but a unique culinary experience that can only be realized within a dream world. In this realm, in this realm, sorry, potato fries never grow soft because of cooling down, and the ice cream never melts because of warming up. Cold and heat achieve perfect harmony here. Finally, no more upset stomachs. Let's do this as well. Um, wait. So nine thousand. Wait, I can literally get all of them. Really? Uh, fun use increases all allies' chains to resist burn by 100% for 4 turns with next battle. When this bonus expires, all allies lose 30 energy. The soda made of fermented ripe grapes tastes both are sour and bitter. It serves as an exceptionally vitalizing remedy for summer heat and uh, consuming it, it often results in sneezing and no no runny nose. According to those who have tasted it, it feels like a cold hand pressed against the back of your neck. Pizza, pizza, shoo. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Um. Should I really get, I mean, use all of her funds? Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to use each and everything of uh, her money after all. Not that. Are you done ordering? Yep. Then I'll pay up. I love their oat cake rolls. I get one from here every day. God damn it! I should have should have paid for the oat cake rolls then. <sighs> Anyways, uh, doesn't that get expensive though? Well, that why I only have one per day. Yeah, I suppose so. Let's walk while we eat. It's time to head to the next stop. Alright. She's so sweet. Give him a kid's meal. <laughs> Heather, really, Golden Hour reminds me of the uh, Kingdom oh, Hearts, like, uh, what's it called? Um, Twilight Town, I think. This is the luxury store I told you about earlier. If we keep going, we'll reach Glax Avenue, right, which is Glass the road Avenue. to Golden Hour. Okay. Leave me alone. <laughs> Wait. What if a car hits me? Come on. There you go. Rules are made to be broken. <laughs> Achievement. Over here. Follow me. Yeah. Uh, I'll be back. Um, violate traffic rules and get hit by a vehicle in Pinacone. 
Rules are made to be broken, after all. Alright, let's have a go. Please come this way. Let me show you something interesting. Uh, that is Clocky, right? Look! That's the statue of Clocky. Penicone's famous cartoon character. Yeah. It's the oldest and most famous animation from Penicone. It follows the adventurous life of Clocky and his friends in the town of Dreamville. Dreamville. To date, over 10,000 episodes have aired. 10,000, huh? Hmm. He looks, uh, cute? I know, right? Isn't he adorable? Yeah. By the way, do you know that Clocky's design is said to be inspired by none other than the legendary watchmaker? Really? Watchmaker? I can't believe you haven't heard of him. He was a legendary tycoon in the history of Penicone, the founder of the Dreamscape, the man who turned dreams into reality. Wow. There are different stories out there about the watchmaker's origin. Some said he was a traveling merchant from beyond the sky. Some claim that he was exiled to Penicone as a prisoner. And some speculate that he wasn't even a real person, just a symbol. Wow. The true story is anyone's guess, but everyone aspires to emulate his success and be the next watchmaker. Yeah, well. As his inspiring story became known across the cosmos, those with a dream flocked to Penicone in droves. They held feast after feast, eventually building the planet of festivities we have today. Everyone in Penicone knows this name. The cartoon character Clocky is portrayed as reckless and full of hot air. But I believe the real watchmaker was a nameless. After all, creating the dreamscape sounds like just the kind of thing a trailblazer would do. Hmm. Hold on. If the watchmaker really was a nameless, wouldn't that make him your predecessor? Would you like to take a picture with him? Picture with him? <laughs> I think they'll pass an allergic to camera lenses. <laughs> I know how this goes, you're gonna charge me a lot just for taking the picture out you. Yeah, but I mean, that's Firefly, she's not uh, that, like that. Thanks. My pleasure. Here, give me your phone. Hey! Hey, hey, hey! Uh, okay. Hey, Clotty. Help! Help me! Help me what? You hear a pitiful cry for help. The cry is coming from the Clotty's eyelashes. Oh, is that the thing that is uh, stuck? to the right ear, I mean the right ear, the right eye of Clotty. Uh? What's that? Oh, it looks like there's something on Clocky's face. Yeah, that's what I uh, witnessed earlier. Help! Help me! Pull me out! Help me! The eyelashes are begging to be pulled out. It feels a little too much like a dream. But, as a good Samaritan we are, <laughs> Let's uh, help uh, the, 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 uh, yeah, but no, first off, let me, let me check on collect, final mysterious collection, I'll collect that as well, which is why not, um, collect this letter of complaint, and what was that, a letter to Dream Street motivators, ran, okay, Let's have a look around before I uh, do anything. Are there any more stuff to collect? Really Checked off the list. <sighs> Alright, well, the optional task is to ask for a flat picture of commemorative picture of the statue, so. Let's you want ask a photo them. with him? Yeah. Sure. Please give me your phone, I'll take it for you. Sure. Let's do this. It's done! It came out great! You're very photogenic. Oh, Firefly, 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 it shucks you. <laughs> Help! Help me! Pull me out, please! Yeah, I'm going to. You 
such a nice proof of clarity, but the iron ashes are still burning for help. Yeah, I mean, don't do this, obviously. I'm not like a bad person or anything. Yank. Why, thank you, you. Nice. Which tree? I told you now an adorable shirt, the bird flies away. Before that, it seems to have a fit to try out the wall. The main thing is that you need to go to the tree first. I have such a meet with it again there, so just what exactly the nice thing is. Is there something wrong with Clocky's statue? Why did you suddenly jump just now? You didn't see anything, Firefly? Eh... I was to the bird, I mean, I'm not going to lie to her. A bird with sharp edges and points! <laughs> um... I don't think I saw it. Well... <laughs> if you're okay, let's move on to the next stop, which is just a stone's throw away from here. Please follow me. Alright. Chirp? Origami bird. Yeah, I think I remember that from the time we were in uh, the hotel. The origami birds bring branches and precious stones to build the city. However, these uh, mischievous entities often turn into feathers and hide in the various corners among the places they made. If you see through the bird's mimicry, then please go up and interact with them. The friendly birds will prepare just for adventurers who discover them. Uh, some particularly playful birds won't directly admit their failure and require you to peel back their disguises little by little. Observe carefully and try many times to figure out a way to capture them. Alright. Thanks for the intel. Help one origami bird return to the great tree. Yeah, so I know where that great tree is. So I'll go back later. But first, I have some quality time oh, with Firefly. But right this. Here in Imnos. Imnos. All right. Listen to the music. Though. Can you see that building in the distance? That's the famous Grand Theater, another great landmark of Penacony. Wow. That's a pretty unique shape, doesn't he? Yeah. In the real world, it was originally the central prison of Astana. The family renovated it in the dreamscape and transformed it into the glorious Penacony Grand Theater. Since the moment it was built, the Grand Theater has graced the entire dreamscape with its rendition of the Odes of Harmony. The Odes of Harmony. During the Once in an Era Charmony Festival, family members will gather at the theater to welcome the harmonious choir that blesses Penacony with everlasting peace. And here we are. The best viewing spot in all of Golden Hour. Look, there's even a telescope here. When the Charmony Festival arrives, remember to be here early if you want to get a seat. Okay. Next, I'll bring you somewhere you can really have fun. Yeah, but I'm going to still investigate. You peer into the binoculars, but all that means your gaze is in abyssal darkness. Suddenly, an, eyes open, an eye opens in the abyss and begins to stare at you. I continue to meet its gaze. If you gaze into the abyss, the abyss and the abyss gaze also into you. If you choose to meet the abyss gaze, so sometimes the eye closes shyly and the darkness remains in the telescope. I have Dream Chaser. Alright. Oh, something else to collect here. Just line metamorphosis and rebirth. Alrighty. But before I forget, I performed there as well oh. when I was younger. 
chair. Tick touch, please do chat with another teacher, dear Jess. I want to quit this job now. Tick touch, I have to play Clark day and night. I don't have any time for myself. I'm so envious of my friends to do the dream job true. At least they can be themselves. Oh, uh, dream teacher. Uh, occasionally, you may find malfunctioning dream teachers in Bamatoni. Interacting with them allows you to enter their Amoscape and repair these poor dies. In the Amoscape, some building blocks are interactable, and you can either drag to move them or tap to rotate them. Use these blocks to help Clarky complete the path and collect gears to repair their mind. Uh, in addition, there's a movable dream mirror that replicates its distinct paths. Once the pathway to the Dirty is complete, Clarky will automatically collect the gear. Please uh, collect all the gears to complete the repair. After exiting the ambuscade, hey Ratish, uh, you can awaken the repaired dream teachers and receive gifts from them. I'm good. Uh, so <laughs> this time around, playing uh, on Tri Star Rail. I mean, I'm still on 2.0, so I have to make sure that uh, that so uh, yeah, I do things right. So I have to move that. Wait, how should I do this? Oh. Yeah. That's really strange. Is that good? Did I win? <laughs> Don't even know. I think I did. So, uh... TikTok dear guess. I'm going to escape to other dream streets. Take a break. Bye. <laughs> What's this? Watch mages uh for children's wrist watch. So what's <laughs> Okay Ratish, thank you. Uh, have a good day or enjoy yourselves. Uh, enjoy yourself how much you can, obviously. Increases break effect by 16%. When the wearer uses the ultimate on an ally, all allies' break effect increases by 30% for two turns. This effect cannot be stacked. Right. Okay. A wristwatch of fine craftsmanship contains a unique watch face and clock hands. It is said to be the symbol of good luck in the dreamscape. And what's this? Eerie building block. This boss contains eerie puzzle building blocks. It can be returned to the Dream Teacher Administrator. Puzzle blocks that made the Dream Teacher's malfunction are sealed here, emitting an ominous aura. Wow. Well, that's something, I suppose. Look at all that. Oh! Don't think I didn't see you. <laughs> Wait, maybe you need to fulfill certain criteria to use this phone booth. Try and selling your robotic arm to the tattoo, raising a few pets. But I, st I have to investigate that. Yeet. <laughs> Chirp, I got chairless and forgot to install the hands of the, on the timepiece. Guess I'll have to stand in for them. Chirp. Yeah. I wonder if your master gold has replacement parts. I'll go ask now. Chirp. <laughs> Uh, I got a clutch pizza as well. Nice. Um, let's have a look. Alright, well, let's go. Okay. Um, oh, I, what are the two? Uh, this is another chest. Add it to the list. And I see another chest on this side as well. Da, 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 da. <laughs> that place up ahead is Ideen Park. Ideen Park. Everything here is themed around Soul Glide. It's a little crowded, so make sure you stay close to me. Right, right, right. Got it. 
I did that too as well. Which is, you know, it's important. Uh, all right. This is the largest park in Golden Hour. It represents the soda culture of Penacone. The gigantic soda bottle houses the headquarters of the Soul Glad Enterprise. Soul Glad Enterprise. Soul Glad is said to have originated from a sweet medicinal syrup popular during the prison era. Mm -hmm. Invented by a man named Susa, it was thus called the Susa Juice. Susa Juice. Ideen, an interstellar traveling merchant, saw the potential in the beverage and purchased the formula. Yeah. But Aizin could also be uh, another sample custody. <laughs> Just saying. Aideon then carbonated the beverage and renamed it Soul Glad. He also pioneered the school of thought known as Syrupism, in which he promoted the consumption Syrupism. of Soul Glad as a new kind of lifestyle. And just like that, he created a commercial miracle. Did you know? One of the ingredients in the original recipe for Susa juice, known as Dream Leaf, has gone extinct. That means the only place you can get a taste of Apocalypse Soul Glad is in Penacone's dreamscape. That's wicked. Now this is also the only place where one can fully experience the core values of syrupism. <laughs> uh, she abruptly freezes. In that flitting moment, you notice atrocious shifts in the girl's gaze. Piercing directly into your brow, or perhaps somewhere behind you. What's up? Firefly returns to her warm and gentle disposition. What was behind me? Or what was she thinking about? Time waits for no one. Let me show you around. Firefly, are you um, hiding something from me by any chance? I don't know. Seems a bit. Uh, I don't know. Cash period. Purpose of a container is storage, but with this machine chooses to share its wealth with the world. Can it be an act of harmony? Who knows? Was there a, was there someone behind me? Collect Project Scarab. But well, I'll be back, Firefly. I just need to. Oh, just I'm getting the most out of this uh, world. Oh, this is not a good way to go there. Um, investigate. It's like opening loot box. You'll never know what how the tenant inside is feeling when you open the trash can. But we are trash places, so that's not too bad. Ooh. And the design. The design in this world is crazy. It's so vibrant and colorful at the same time. See these time. musical instruments playing themselves with no human performers? Yeah. That's in Penacone. Many objects and facilities have gained self-awareness due to the influence of the Memoria. Wow. After being tamed by the family, some of them form the Sweet Dreams troupe to provide Sweet entertainment Dreams for troop. guests. Be careful, though. Sometimes these animated objects can be affected by dangerous emotions or memories and uh, transform into the destructive Dream Jolt Troop. <laughs> if you ever run into them, go ask the security guards nearby for help. So there could be, um. Yeah, there could be, uh. Hey! There's a ride attendant over there! There could be a problem. Let me get some ID and tokens for you. With those, you'll be able to try any of the attractions here that you fancy. Yeah, but first, yank. <laughs> chirp, chirp, open the late full price. It's me, chirp. I thought this this man is barfing rainbows, <laughs> but uh, I don't know. I thought the sewers were filled with so glad. Turns out it was just water. What a bummer, chirp. Let's go back to your master gold and ask for some fruit, chirp. Your master gold. Stop, stop vomiting, my guy. Plant of Festivities Collection. Oh my god. Here comes, uh, I think, yeah. I think I saw one time. Oh, listen. 
A gorgeous and exquisite crystal glass hovers in midair, surrounded by three different bottles of litter. Along with the child music nearby, the glass and bottles float and spin as though they were having a dance party of their own. Yet, from the way it's way the bodies, you can still discern a hint of dissonance lurching beneath the surface of this magical scene. The red wine bottle, despite its awkward movement, it will inch closer to the crystal chalice contentedly every few seconds. However, the glass seems keenly aware of the red bottle's motive and will keep its distance close, uh, cautiously with finesse. The gold wine bottle is the best dancer. It appears to be very experienced in attending such occasions and is having a good time. It approaches the crystal chalice and then pulls away from time to time. Although the two do not speak, they seem to have formed some sort of rapport with each other. The green wine bottle's moves are steady and strained. Compared to the previous two, it behaves more like a spectator. But in its occasional sway, you can sense the suppressed desire within. Perhaps it has just grown accustomed to holding back its desires. The realization dawns upon me. There is a love drama ongoing among the freight and the the peaceful facade. Mister, Mister, a crisp voice rings in your head, each syllable resembling the clink when someone gently taps the rim of a tall wine glass or a small silver spoon. That's right, Mister, you heard it. I'm speaking to you. Uh, uh, <clears throat> what is it? I'm puzzled. Uh, look, I'm a high-end, custom-made crystal wine glass. The person who made me said that I should be used to hold only the most valuable and finest wine. And as you can see, there are three types of wine around me. I can sense the intention to get to know me and be my partner. Trust the truth be told, Mister, I have no idea what to do. As the saying goes, the spectators see the games better the game better than players. I believe only a level headed guest like you can offer me some sound advice. Which of them should I choose? Can we talk to each other bottles and give me some suggestions? Why not just drink them all? That's out of the question. I don't want to become as cheap as those sold glasses. Wow. The crystal chalice stone is laden with content and disgust. I mean, uh... Sure. I'll help you. Really? That's wonderful. You're so kind of dashing, mister. I mean, yeah, thanks. The three of them are right there. Do you want to check them now? You agree to help the crystal chalice to find a perfect match. Where should you start from? Well, let's start with the red wine, red wine first. You shift your gaze towards the awkward red wine bottle. Why are you pursuing the crystal chalice? Why? What sort of crush is that, buddy? Look at me. A bottle of liquor. Isn't it the most natural thing for a bottle of liquor to desire a perfect wine glass that complements it? I'm sure I won't find another glass as beautiful as this one before me in the entire Pinacone. It's all nothing for me this time. Tell me about yourself. I'm surprised a guest like you would be interested in a wine bottle like me. This is unusual. Fine, I'll tell you everything you want to know. My background is nothing extraordinary. I'm just... A common red wine that you can find at any grocery store or the street. I might be well packaged, but in reality, those rich folks and drinkers don't even spare me a second glance. They act as if they know a lot about wine. Can they even tell what they are actually drinking at those banquets at the end? I refuse to accept my fate. I don't want to end up being bought on a whim by some homeless person and chucked away to a small, dark alley without even being finished. So, I've been working hard in search of a chance to make it big. By winning the Tristel Chalice's heart, I'll be on my way to joining the upper class of society. I want everyone to see that even cheap red wine can make it that far through sheer hard work. I won't let the other two guys stand in my way. I'm ready to do whatever it takes to make this work. And talk to the gold wine bottle. You shift your gaze toward the cheerful gold wine bottle. Uh, so, you, a uh, uh, gold wine bottle, why are you pursuing it? Oh, um, look who's here. It's a uh, gentleman in grey, wearing a bizarre costume, really, sitting this down. 
I like your unique fashion sense. I'm sorry, my friend. I, I think you might have got the wrong idea. Oh, I mean about the pursuit part. I don't consider myself to be a person with crystal chalice. We are simply getting to know each other as equals. Why? It's because that beautiful crystal chalice has long been smitten with me. This isn't self-flattering, mister. It's a fact. I believe you can sit to right. Tell me about yourself. My background. Ah. Believe me, there's nothing to write home about. You won't be interested. I'm a bottle of golden champagne crafted by one of the top five one majors in Penetrowing. The average dream chaser probably won't even get to touch my bottle in their lifetime. Right from my birth, I've had only one mission. To be poured into a perfect and well-made glass for the enjoyment of the wealthiest elites, elites across the entire cosmos. That's why that crystal chalice is meant to be with me. We're a match made in heaven, given our missions. You can argue to the contrary all you want, perhaps saying that the story isn't romantic enough. But it's the truth. If it turns me down and dates one of the other two guys, then their relationship is destined to have a bad ending. Trust me, as I've seen too many stories like this, they all tend to end with the same scene. Shards of broken glass are started everywhere, and the cheap liquid that the only attracts insects is spilled all over the floor. Alright, so talk to the green wine bottle. You shift your gaze towards the earnest green wine bottle. So, why are you pursuing her? No, I'm not pursuing the crystal glass. I'm merely protecting it. Yes, it's protection. Please do not make wild speculations. It seems to be a bottle of few words and is still trying hard to restrain its desires. Tell me about yourself. I... Fine. I guess that's alright to tell you my story. The Crystal Chalice might not remember it anymore, but the two of us were made by the same craftsman. Although with different products, we were born around the same time. This might sound embarrassing, but I haven't been able to get it out of my mind since the day I saw it. I was later brought by, bought by a military officer and floated him to the battlefield for a long time. However, he didn't open me even until the day he was struck by a stray bullet. My friend, you rest in peace. By a twist of fate, I returned to Pinaconi and came across the crystal glass again. It no longer recognized me as we were separated for too long. Now there's a huge gap between us in terms of our statuses. I'm not expecting anything in return from it. Being just a bottle of rum, I'll never be able to refer to the, the, it the prestige and recognition that it desires. I just want to protect it from being taken advantage of by other wines, that's it. I know which wine the Crystal Chalice should choose now. The Crystal Chalice clinks sadly as it leans to extreme towards you. How did you Mr. Who should I choose? You know what? The Golden Champagne. The bottle of Grilled and Champagne shares a similar background mission with you. You should choose it. Even though the green one also shares, shares a ba similar background bit. Whatever. I see. I've got it. I'll take your opinion to account before making my decision. I appreciate your help, mister. I'll keep you posted in there in if there are any updates on my side. Okay. So maybe we'll see uh, updates from that uh, chalice later. Another one is opened. A new model of wristwatch by the Stent family? What to do? What am I to do? I'm going to be scrapped soon. Uh, the average work in lifespan of the just is only 133 years. I have another 129 years before I get scrapped. I don't want to be scrapped. Don't worry, I'm here for you. Alright. Let's see how that goes.
And I did it. <laughs> nice. Not to fish a bit. 129. It still seems like a long time. Well, uh, you're uh, welcome. If I helped you like this, I suppose. So That's fine. Oh, that's some collectible. I will mentor the counters. Who cares if everything's full of sugar? It's a dream after all. Please do not hit the entertainment facilities. Oh, I should not enter the entertainment facilities, eh? I understand, but before I do even that, I'll uh, just uh so tell me, do Intellitrons have a natural advantage when doing the popping dance? Orchestra Conductor, yeah. This is a... Uh... Oh, I see. Quite a, a, a vinyl. Nice. Alright, let's go and see. Brona? You're one letter away from a certain uh, girl I know, and that's fine. Hi there! This is my friend's first visit to Pinnacum. May I get some ID tokens for him? Of course! Please show me your Dreamscape Pass. Of course, I fly it. It's right here with me. You don't. Here's your dreamscape yeah. pass and My name's tokens. Anil. Yeah. Be sure to keep a good hold of them. Have a good time. Well, thanks. How many tokens are there? I don't know. Ten. You may now enjoy the attractions in Pentaconi to the fullest. Thanks. <laughs> Let's try out some of the games nearby. Our goal is to use all the tokens. Right. Let's live it to the fullest. Let's do it. Yay. Which one should we try first? Since this is your first time here, I say we start with the easiest games. The Dreamy Slots and Lucky Wheel are pretty straightforward. Okay. Oh, so these are the Dreamy Slots? Lucky Wheel? Please do not hit me. Uh, an amusement facility that can be seen anywhere in Dean Park. Its rules are simple but charming. Countless guests are immersed in it and become completely ob oblivious to reality. Yeah. You can use Iden tokens to play various amusement facilities and have a small chance of winning valuable rewards. Okay. Let's do this Lucky Wheel thing. So I have 10 of these coins. So I can either get prize, big prize, or super big prize. Let's see what we get. We got a prize. Dreamlight. Wow, uh, you won something on your first attempt. Impressive. I mean, that's just the lowest of the low, but whatever. Um, Dreamlight meets sweets. Upon use, all allies may consume or restore energy or HP at the beginning of each turn for the next battle. Specialty chan chan specialty chan here naturally HPs containing or concealing a unique feeling. Some compare it to life as you will never know its taste until you try it yourself. This one is spicy. So it's like um it's like uh the things from Harry Potter, the, the candies from Harry Potter as well. Just uh, going to do something before I forget. Um, this. Okay, um, let's try this again. Super big prize. There you go. So, okay, um, let's go here, Dreamy Slots. 
Hmm. Let's try this. Big prize. The cloud of doubt. All allies take 15% less damage from this battle. Well, this is going to be useful. <clears throat> uh, you sit up a cloud of sadness forming in your mind. The words you have promised to others begin to falter. Are you really not a loser? Can you really achieve anything? Have you really chosen the right path? A fire ignites from the depths of your heart, and for one moment, you attempted to burn everything on the past the ground. And that spark has, al has already been ignited long ago. Okay. Let's uh, use that again. You keep playing. I'll go and get some drinks. Yeah, although don't get too far. How will I get this time? Hundred layers Sunday, zero calories. I beg to differ. But uh, <clears throat> but the max HP of all allies, all allies increases by ten percent plus two hundred and ten max HP. It's unlikely that any food would affect one's weight or health in the dreamscape. Nevertheless, this dessert's form is truly um, stunning, and the merchant has even specifically labeled zero calories behind the item. Body anxiety can transcend time and space. Yeah, well. Let's do this again. What do I get this time? Okay. That's good. What's taking Firefly so long? Yeah. Huh? She's heading towards the bar? The bar? Wait. Actually, I'll find Firefly and bring the sightseeing to me. Firefly, please, do not go away. Do not go too far away. Not enough credits left? Uh, where do I recharge? Okay, let's try this again. Let's like this. Uh, yeah. Quite impressive, it seems, huh? Didn't get the super big prize, right? <laughs> oh, I got a big prize, though. Nice. I mean, I just wanted to have the bustling ambiance, but ambiance, but whatever. Going to be this time. Okay. I've used up all the tokens. Time to meet Firefly. Yeah. Let's go. Time to meet Firefly. Yeah, but what took you so long? Penagoni's golden hour is pretty amazing, isn't it? Um, is it me, or do you sound a bit sad, though? I'm not sad. It's just that this dream is so loving and forgiving. Yeah, the fact that you're accentuating or emphasizing on this dream. Time it seems that uh, it's not a good thing at all. But uh, then again, it's fast and deep like an ocean. Even the humblest people can find solace here. Firefly, behind your smile, there's uh, like a sadness that I I don't know what it is. <laughs> I appreciate your help earlier today. 
That's why I took the chance to introduce this beautiful place to you. It was willing to accept me. Even though I didn't belong here. I've grown very fond of this place. And that makes me want to... <laughs> share it with others. Mm. Aren't you a locker? I am. At least for now. At least for now. Another... Another piece like that. Come closer. Closer, please. I have a question for you. Uh... Alright. Did you travel here alone? Yeah. I am. I am. Uh, at least for now. <laughs> I see. Yeah. I'm not sure whether you realize it or not. I took you through a very long scenic route and visited all kinds of places just now because. Because. Well, someone's been following you. So that's why she was looking behind. <laughs> <laughs> my shoulders or uh, behind his brow I don't, know. don't turn around I'm certain that you're his target he's been on our tail since we parted ways with Mr. Gallagher mm -hmm. I wondered whether he was a friend of yours but my instincts told me he wasn't and he's about 5 feet 11 inches tall give or take judging from his strong build it's clear that he's well trained he walks in long strides, but his steps are light and barely audible. That way of walking doesn't leave footprints. Okay, uh, so 5 feet 11, 11 inches tall. Strong build. Well trained. Long strides. Uh, steps are light and barely audible. And the way of logic... Is that simple? I think that's simple. He looks like a skilled fighter, the covert kind. <laughs> yeah, the simple. He has large <laughs> palms, yet his fingers are slender and nimble. I reckon he has experience using knives, like a short sword or a dagger. Do you know anybody like that? A maroon jacket, emerald eyes, dark blue hair. Yeah, I mean, that's it. Ah, he's coming our way. Hey, well. If it isn't my most loyal customer, the Trailblazer guy. The Trailblazer guy, huh, Sampo? Of course. It's been such a long time, old friend. Yeah, and what are you doing here? What a coincidence to run into you here. Oh my, I'm in luck today. So, if I'm in luck today, I mean, you're in luck today, Sampo. Uh, can you tell me, why were you following me all this time? Sampo, what brings you here? You're surprised to see me? <laughs> you know, it's thanks to you that I can be here. You help your LO6 open up to the outside. Um, this gentleman is? Ah, the name's Sampo Tosti. <laughs> Oh, Miss March, don't you remember Miss March? me? Miss After March. all the favors I did for you all in Bellabog? Oh my god. Did you just say March? Wow. Well, that's crazy. <laughs> he just said March. Uh, you should get your eyesight, eyesight checked. Are you sure March 7th looks like this? My name is Firefly. I'm a stage performer from the Iris family. Oh, no wonder. I was just thinking, there's no way Miss March could change her appearance so dramatically in such a short time. Yeah, you tell me, Sampo. It's my pleasure to meet you. My name is Sampo. And I'm an old pal of his. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so 
questions. When did I acknowledge you as my friend? Oh, uh, don't be like that. You're making things awkward. Yeah, well. Mr. Sampo, what's the purpose of your visit to Penacony? Yeah, tell me about that. My purpose? <laughs> You're funny. What else can I do in Penacony? Well, I just hang around, daydream, and do the things that anyone on vacation would do. Of course you're not doing just that, Sampo. I would know about it. Speaking of which... Old pal, since fate brings us here, I'm obliged to give you a tour of this area. I've been watching you two for a long time. Miss Firefly does know Penacony well, but... When it comes to entertainment for grown-ups, I think I can do much better. You think? <sighs> entertainment for grown-ups? Looks like my analysis is spot on. <laughs> Follow me, you two. Let me give you a taste of the adult world. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> oh. um, Mr. Sampo. Anything bothering you, Miss Firefly? Don't worry. This isn't going to involve anything illegal. I didn't realize that there was uh, water here. I mean, on this side. Is that a pool? Yeah, I hope that you're not doing anything illegal, Sampo. I really hope so. Golden Capsule Machine and Cosmos Most Magic Capsule Machine. What is this? Play Golden Capsule Machine. Yeah, I'll play this on my off. <laughs> off, just off. <laughs> now, that can, um, now that I can explore uh, apparently a bit further than that, I will. Leading part. <laughs> All right. Um. It's ready. It's fine. Dream teach call. I mean, I I think I did that for the day. What a scam! It's still barfing. <sighs> My God. <laughs> Takes a long time to reach the other side on foot. How about we just bounce over there using the pinball machine? The pinball machine. Pinball machine? He is not fully acclimated to the dreamscape yet. This could get dangerous. Dangerous? Miss Firefly, we're in a beautiful dreamland crafted by the family. How could it be dangerous? This is the perfect place to have some thrills. Come on, pal. Show her what you're made of. 